yeah, going out. I'm down by, well, that area there is Hartlepool. So I've come down. Down south. <laughs> This day, I think it's meant to be about 28 degrees. Check out this view, it's lovely. A few ships. Right, well. Hopefully you can hear me because it's quite windy. Well, that's a bit of wind. Uh, just walking along the beach, which is quite hard work. Uh, it's time to explain just a little bit about me and why I'm doing this. What I'm doing it for, what my goals are, a little bit about what I want the channel to be. So. Yeah, my name's Darren. I'm 50 years old. Um, when I was 45, uh, I ended up getting uh, pancreatitis for the umpteenth time. I've had pancreatitis for about 20 odd years, um, and they could never, they could never um, put a finger on why I had pancreatitis. Quite often people associate pancreatitis with people that drink. I'm not really a drinker. I used to have the occasional pint you know, every every other sort of month or so. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't really a drinker, so that wasn't the cause. And they did lots of tests and they could never discover what was actually causing the problem. Then when I was 45. My 45 ended up getting pancreatitis again. Um, I drove myself to the hospital. When I was there, uh, they did a scan and they discovered that I had a tumour in my pancreas. So I had to have further tests just to determine what that was and whether it was pancreas or cancer, etc. It transpired it was uh, precancerous. So the problem was because it was precancerous, there was quite a high risk that it would turn cancerous. And the problem is with pancreatic cancer, once it strikes, that's it. Yeah. Sometimes you can be doomed, and that wasn't a good thing. So we needed to take action and take action quite quickly. So we decided to have surgery and they removed half my pancreas and they removed my complete spleen so I've got no spleen and I've got no pancreas or half a pancreas um, that means that I, when I eat I have to have special medication to be able to eat to be able to digest and, and absorb the food out of, my, uh, of what I'm eating um, because of that, as a result of that, I'm also diabetic and most people have heard of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Well, I'm type 3C. What that means is um, type 3C means that you, you've got uh, uh, diabetes due to pancreatic trauma. Obviously because I've only got half a pancreas. That's the trauma I've had, had uh, an operation to, to remove off. Uh, it took me about four years to get over that. Um, I was in hospital for about two and a half weeks after having the operation. And then about two weeks after that I started cycling. And that's been my main uh, goal really, to get on my bike and, and be able to cycle to different places. And I've been doing that quite successfully. The other thing is I, I did martial arts, uh, did jiu-jitsu, did a bit of jiu-jitsu, or did jiu-jitsu before I became ill. And that was one of my goals as well. I wanted to get back on the mat and, and continue with my um, my jiu-jitsu, which, which I did do, and uh, I graded again after 
quite recently actually. Um, so anyway, it took me four years, near enough to get to a reasonable level of fitness. And then, lo and behold, after being fit for about a year, I got a heart attack. <laughs> uh, that's a bit of a bugger. I was out on my bike, keeping fit as you do, and uh, ended up being quite ill whilst on the cycle. And that was quite, that was quite uh, harrowing. Ended up going to the hospital where they discovered that I'd had a heart attack. So consequently, decided now is the time to get back into my hiking boots and just just walk just walk so that's what i'm doing discovering new places and uh, yeah what i want to do is i want to get to a level of fitness where i can walk a bit further maybe go to the hills do a bit of wild camping uh, get the tent out and um, just live some adventures and that's what i'm going to do along this beach a little bit, a little bit more. Let's see where it leads to. Right. Bye. nice views around here, it's lovely. Uh, I'm going to walk down towards these rocks. Just uh, enjoy myself a little bit. And quite a lot of uh, landslides along here as well. Where we are, this is this is called Crimden Dean. So I've just had to drop my daughter off. She's going on a little uh, holiday to a caravan site um, with her friends. She's 17, so she's there with her friends and her friends' parents, etc. And I just thought I'd use that excuse just to have a little walk around. What I'm doing. Uh, discover somewhere new. I wouldn't normally come down this far south. Uh, this is in County Durham. You can hear exactly what I'm saying, otherwise this this will be wasted. The main purpose of this was to basically just tell whoever's interested what, what I'm actually what I'm here for, the reason for all my likes, etc. So I'm going to carry on, try a bit. Right, well, I'm going home now. Oh God, that was, that was horrendous. It was, it was like a really, really, well, you probably saw it on the video, long slope, sometimes sloping, sometimes steps way down to the beach. And then I walked a bit along the beach. Um, and then I've obviously had to come back up all those uh, stairs and the slopes. I'm literally sweating. The temperature's about, I think, 28 degrees outside, so it's, it is a very hot day. So, back in my car, and uh, that's me. I'm going back to Newcastle now. So, I think I'll come down here again because it's quite a nice little coastline of a proper walk on probably a, a less warm day. Anyway, I'm off. Draw a bit. <laughs>